Okay, in this video we're going to go into a bit more detail about the nitty gritty of the hardware used on my Astro Night Vision Adventures to Dartmoor. Starting off with this lovely tripod, which I upgraded recently because mine was falling apart and uh, paid about 250 for this Manfrotto uh, legs and video head package. Um, comes with the uh, central support for extra stability and a little rubber uh, cable on the side there to keep everything together. Um, double extendable legs, probably up to about 170 centimeters. I don't use its full height, um, but very, very easy to unclip and uh, to extend. Here we've got the 135 mil lens on, which is a little heavy, but it's sharp. Good in low light on the 6300. Should be on the 65 because the 65 has got optical stabilization. So I tend to use the zoom on that one normally. But this is uh, this is the full setup. It does tend to change, I vary things around. Since upgraded a couple of little bits, uh, but we'll go into that shortly. So at about 350 grams, there's your Aurora Sport, and ditto for the left for the Pro. Tend to put them on top. They don't weigh very much, so if you are pointing almost vertically, um, best to keep the center of gravity. Um, it's close to the uh, central mounting point where the Sony camera was. Easily adjustable clips for the legs. I'm not going to fully open it because I don't want it to move, but uh, decent enough and um, so much better than the previous clips I was using. The leg was falling off my mum frotto, so it's quite a lot of equipment and a lot of weight to have on a tripod that you can't quite rely on. Hence, uh, paid a little bit more, a bit the bullet, and uh, this tripod package was really good. Once you've got everything level, if you don't want to change the legs, um, you have the option of moving the central ball head. Again, really smooth, easy to adjust. It's quite a generous handle there, just to give you the finer movements and even up a shot. And here's the video head. Not quite sure what length it is, probably about 12 centimeters. It's quite generous. A couple of notches underneath to keep things in place and that little handle there which you can uh, adjust anti-clockwise and then basically pull down allows you to flip out uh, the plate. It's attached to the uh, frame here with two screws underneath so there's uh, no movement whatsoever which is really good. I was dependent on one single screw on previous mount head. There's a lot to have on five ki when you've got five kilos. A really smooth motion, couldn't ask for anything more. The video head is the junior version, you know, it's actually a, a version which allows extra weight. Um, I didn't really need it. For this video head I didn't notice that it actually is two and a half to five kilos, depending on the centre of gravity and what angle you're using, but that's more than enough. So this is the Neewa aluminium cage, which um, I bought a few years ago and didn't get a lot of use out of, but it's actually now really handy. Combination of plastic and aluminium, but it works really well. There's lots of mounting holes. And um, you can just see in the middle of the shop there, you can use a combination of quarter or three eighths, usually attach two screws underneath, just for extra stability. The little blue tightening wheel could be better especially if you've done it too tight and can't get it back off again. Um, but apart from that, for £50, it's a good frame. For a few pounds, you can buy these on eBay, just furniture, levelling feet, 32mm here. Probably should have bought a little bit extra, but if you're just putting the frame down, if you're taking it off the plate and you're just laying it on grass or something, it's quite useful just for extra stability. Or you can use the mounting holes. At one point, I did have two, uh, the two torches underneath, just attached. If you've got multiple items, then getting a slimline power bank. Uh, this was an easy ack, but they don't make it anymore. But there are some anchor ones, which are, as long as you keep to about a centimeter and in uh, height there, it'll f fall into that um, phone mounting bracket quite easily. Just an Allegiant one which I picked up, so double, double pack, so uh, definitely gripping onto that power bank. Not that it weighs a particular large amount. And depending on your needs, I just needed two power outputs. I think it's a one amp and a two amp. 
the Psyonix don't require much, but they do use a certain combination which you've, uh, you need to get used to, such as plugging in and then recording. Uh, I found that when I'm recording and plug in the power cable, it tends to shut off the Psyonix for some reason. Um, but as long as they're fully charged, it will trickle them through. A couple of code shoe mounts, um, just using the one here. Uh, I've since taken it off and used something better because although it's good for the uh, smaller cameras, um, it is a little tricky getting your fingers in there to tighten it and occasionally I've, uh, where I've adjusted the camera angle slightly, um, it's loosened up and the camera swung to the left a little. So um, you can alleviate that with rubber washers underneath, but in the end I just swapped out the code mount. Uh, keep it a couple of washers spare uh, for these sort of screw heads. Um, save you using it now, just use one of the washers and tighten up anything. Just kept here as a spare on the frame. And a couple of generic um, flexible torch mounts which I got from eBay. Um, had to come from China I think, I'm not sure I could find a UK vendor which is ridiculous. But again for a few pound, a couple of these mounted on, uh, really useful. Unless you do need to aim the torches uh, all over the place, um, but I've not found I've needed to. I tend to take both. One for a blast of visible light if I need something quickly. Um, try to avoid using that in the dark, obviously. And an Ultrafire 940. Um, you can use 850. I found the 940s tend to interfere with the video signal of the Cyanox for some reason. Only one torch didn't. So if you want to err on the side of caution, use 850. And from an old uh, GoPro uh, clone camera, a couple of different mounts. Again, you can use these to attach to the newer aluminium frame just for holding your torches. Um, I use this to start with, but uh, it's currently not on the frame. So the code shoe was replaced uh, by one of these small rig ball mounts. Model number just coming up, but um, easily attachable. A couple of adjusters there. Very smooth sideways motion. With a notch cut out there, so you can pull the top part straight back and aim vertically which is very handy. The adjusters do tend to get in the way of the upper part sometimes depending on which angle you're using but um, generally if you mount it correctly you should be okay. For £20 uh, a very good little mount. Good for a couple of kilos I believe. Again the Sionex as I mentioned earlier only weigh three to four hundred. Easily removable light there, you can just see a washer underneath just to give an extra bit of tightness and flexibility. And a couple of the under bolts there stop the, uh, the mount from falling back or forward. Really impressed with those little small rigs. There are quite a few to choose from, depends on what weight and size you want. I tried to go for something relatively low profile because the frame was already quite high. And here we go, all mounted. You can get longer bars for the knee wear frame if you want to rest on your shoulder. I've kept them on here, but um, as you can see there's quite a few mounting holes and uh, the handles are easy to grasp. You can pretty much point this vertically without too many concerns. Especially if I don't have the zoom lens which is currently shown. That's quite weighty. If I've just got the wide angle on here, I can't remember the actual weight, but this 12mm um, works well on the centre frame, keeping the heavier items on the middle there. So great for low light, manual focus only, but it's pretty sharp if you check the reviews. It's about 150 second hand, 200 new. And that's it. Always changing things around, but um, this is pretty much how I tend to go out. If you slightly angle the uh, Sionics away from each other, then you can capture quite a wide field. Anyway, thanks for watching.